Elsewhere on the campaign trail tonight, a candidate for the treasurer's office in Clinton Township is confronting racism. Her signs have been vandalized with racial slurs. Tonight she's talking to 7 News Detroit's Ruta Olsenaida about a campaign that has taken a hateful turn. We are in the height of political season. You see the ads, you see the campaign signs, but what one Clinton Township woman that's running for treasurer is seeing is a whole lot of hate. You can disagree on policy and opinion, but this just seems like a whole other level. It is, it is. Tammy T. Patton is the first African-American to ever be elected to Clinton Township's Board of Trustees. She's proudly served her township for over 20 years, but before that, she proudly served her country in the U.S. Army. I've always been a person of service. I was taught that as a young child from my parents. This year, she looks to take up a new role, Clinton Township Treasurer. But right around the primaries, she says 35% of her political signs were stolen or vandalized. In the last few weeks, the problem has only gotten worse. And it, it continues, unfortunately, that our signs are still being cut down. They're still being vandalized and they're still being found in garbage, big dumpsters. And I don't think this is where we need to be or where we should be in 2024. She found one sign covered with racial slurs, the N word written across her name and go back to Africa right under. She says this was the final straw and why she wanted to share her story with us. But that one sign was a sign, one sign too many. Clinton Township Police are investigating and the Macomb County NAACP branch president released a statement saying in part, quote, Miss Patton, who is also a veteran in the U.S. Army, deserves respect and gratitude for her service. We stand firm in our fight for justice, equality and freedom for all and the right of all Americans to participate in the political process. Tammy says it has been difficult to continue her race with this happening and having to explain to her young daughter why someone is using derogatory terms towards her. But she says this is not stopping her. I've been through a lot in the military. I've been through more and I'm like, this is only going to grow me as a person. Again, the Clinton Township Police Department is actively investigating. So if you know anything, make sure to call police. In Clinton Township, I'm Rudolph Sonida, 7 News Detroit. You can count on 7 News Detroit and WXYZ for continuing coverage as we count down to the election in November.